Well, today is Juneteenth, which celebrates the end of slavery in America. This year, the day is being marked by protests and demonstrations, all part of a push to end racial injustices in the U.S. And that includes right here in Central Florida. Here's a live look from Sky 6. Right now, demonstrators are in downtown Orlando. New 6's Crystal Moyer is following some of these demonstrations today. She joins us now live in Orlando's Paramore neighborhood. So, Crystal, what is the message these demonstrators want to share today? day. Well, many people I spoke to say while well, Juneteenth represents a day that Ameri African Americans were not slaves anymore, essentially freedom, they say there's still a long ways to go when it comes to equality. Along John Young Parkway in Orlando, protesters were quiet and let their signs do the talking. A different name written on each one. What we wanted to show is how many names, how many people have died either from police brutality or from some type of modern day lynching. I think it's time for people that are not people of color to unpack their privilege and really lend their voice to, to you know, the atrocities that are going on in this world. While hundreds lined the sidewalks, Congratulations for voting today, registering. Others were using this opportunity to register to vote. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! In Apopka, a march was organized by 16-year-old Johnny Simmons. Juneteenth means to me that we are free. And you know, even still as a black man, as a matter of fact, not even black, as an African-American male here that resides in South Apopka, it's kind of hard to feel free when you see what's all going on. Stay even a Popka mayor marched on, saying he's glad to see young people get involved in a peaceful way on Juneteenth. It's refreshing when you, you do it the right way, you come out and, and protest and, and talk about the things you'd like to see change. Hey, hey. Law enforcement officers assisted in both events and say there were zero incidents. And there are more Juneteenth events planned that go into the evening. Like here in Paramore, there's an event planned at the African American Museum and Culture Center. And that event is for 2020 graduates. That starts at 7 p.m. Live in Paramore, Crystal Moyer getting results, News 6.